Hey everyone, got another video for you. This time it's a Rally X board. This one came in with a complaint of graphic corruption after it warms up, but an interesting thing here, let me zoom in on this edge connector here. The problem with this is somebody has gone in and replaced one of the edge connections with a staple. I've seen a lot of operator goof ups and operator hacks over the years and this is one of the ones that just always just makes me shake my head so we're gonna fix this with some copper trace tape so the first thing I'm gonna do is go clean up the board so be back in a moment okay so we got the staple off of it and got it cleaned up really nicely using uh, some goof off and q-tips we got this the solder flux and a bunch of the loose crud just removed from this and if we turn this over we can see that on the other side the edge connector it's going to go to the same pin you can see the pin where the darkness to the circuit board here uh, the big thing here is is making sure that when you do the copper trace tape repair that you're going to do the trace over and wrapped around the edge of the circuit board so this really only works very well if the trace connects to the same place on the top and bottom of the board. So we're going to go through and, and prep the board. So we've got an area right in here where there's some green solder mask. So we're going to take some solder and soldering iron, fill this area in with some solder and get rid of that mask. And then desolder it down to the bare board so we have a flat surface that we can solder the uh, copper trace tape to. The big thing to remember is, is when you put the copper trace tape down, you want to solder it down here, down towards the... Uh, area where the green solder mask is and not up here closer to the edge connector because you don't want a big blob of solder coming in contact with your edge connector as that will possibly bend the edge connector and make it to where uh, if you try to put another circuit board in you just won't get good contact but that's another thing that operators will do though is when they have these traces starting to go bad they'll just blob up solder all over the contact and it's just going to look like crap and it damages the edge connector so that's another reason to use copper trace tape is to uh, fix those types of screw ups that uh, you know operators will do whatever they can to hack a board to get it back into service so they can make money with it they're not there for long-term repairs that's why we see things like staples on edge connectors okay now we got the uh, the edge connection prepped it's desoldered I used my paste desoldering station to make this a nice flat surface down here for the uh, copper trace tape to stick to. And we got a, a piece of the copper trace tape. The copper trace tape is double sided sticky, so we're also going to have to use the goof off to get rid of the sticky on the outside surface once we solder it down. So, next step is to place the copper trace tape on the board. All right, so now we've got the uh, copper trace tape in place. So if I flip the board over, you can see that it extends down to the point where I can solder it below the uh, area of the tape. So just or below the area of where the trace, the edge connector is going to connect. So we're going to solder it down here. But if you notice that the gap is covered by the tape. So what I've done is I've laid the tape flush with the left edge of, this tr of the trace on the edge connector. And since the tape's wider, it's going to hang over that edge. So what we're going to do is after it's all soldered in and clean all the uh, goo off of it, we're going to take an X-Acto knife, a very sharp hobby knife, and we're going to slice this down and make it to where the trace goes to the edge of the board connection, or the board, and then uh, we're going to remove all the excess. We don't want it shorting across. You know, the connection next to it is power also. But still, you, you don't want to leave a trace that, that looks really nasty. You want it to look nice and clean as possible. So, back in a minute. And there's the copper trace tape in place, soldered in, and good to go. Now, it doesn't take a lot of fancy tools to do this. You can do this desoldering work with solder braid. You don't have to have a fancy paste desolder station like I do. It doesn't require much to clean it. You can use acetone, you can use alcohol. I like Goof Off because it's aggressive, it gets the job done really fast. Just be careful with it around plastics as it will eat some stuff. And for the Q-tips, you don't have to go very far. These came from the Dollar Tree. You know, I paid a dollar for, well, how many in this thing? 250 Q-tips. The, uh, the cutters that I used to cut the copper trace tape, yeah, those are Hosan cutters. Uh, they came from Japan. I brought those back when I was on a, a work trip over there because uh, I could buy them a lot cheaper there than I could over here. And they are ESD safe. But the the X-Acto knife I use, you can see that plastic insert on it. 
that came from I don't know, Harbor Freight, uh, someplace where dirt cheap, made in China, and knockoff hobby knife. You know, it, it maybe cost me a couple of bucks. It, it, you don't have to have the fanciest tools. All you have to have is a sharp knife, a decent soldering station, a way to desolder things, and a way to clean stuff up. So it, it doesn't take anything super fancy to the, to do these types of edge connector repairs and to have success in bringing a board back into really good operational condition. And you can see where I trim the uh, tape back so that the edge connector is now in good repaired shape. Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, you can get the copper trace tape off eBay. Uh, they sell it in single-sided and double-sided stickiness. When I bought mine, it, just the uh, one-eighth inch width at the time, I didn't see anything that was other than double-sided. So you got to use Q-tips and the goof-off to clean them off, get that sticky stuff off, off the surface that's going to be mating with your edge connector. The easiest way to do this is just to rub it with the Q-tips and the goof-off once you have the tape down. I would do it before soldering just simply because as you rub the, the tape, it pushes it down on the board further, and it'll give you a, a good defined edge that you can run your hobby knife down to trim off the excess copper and trim it into the shape that you desire. Thanks, and hope you enjoyed the video.